Good evening everybody. I'm John and this is Sweep and welcome to the John and Sweep show. Right now how was that for an opening? That was a posh opening. Now today we're going to be doing things about being posh are we? Well we're going to be try to do a few things about being posh because something occurred to me the other day. Now if you am pure black country right and you am speaking to somebody who's posh, or somebody who's posh is speaking to you, then uh, you won't understand each other. Nah, you won't. Like, like you can't understand him. Well, I can. You can. I know what he's going to say, but you don't. Right, now, anyway, like, the, the soft things that you can say, and folks, i got a clue what you're talking about, and that has actually happened to me once. It did. This was about 30 odd years ago. I was I was sat in the pub, right, and the wench behind the bar goes to me, he goes, oh yeah, he goes, pass them tight owls, will you? And I'm like, what owls? I goes, the tight owls? I goes, I've heard of barn owls, but not a tight owl. Goes, what's a tight owl? <laughs> yeah, thanks, sweet. Right, this, this is a tight owl, right? Yeah, I knows, I knows that now. You know, for tay, yeah. You know, well, you take the tay, yeah. You might have uh, that with ta <sighs> tay. yeah. A, cu a cup of tay. Now, this, this, now, I'll have the tay, see. This is, this is how you drink, this is how you drink this. You have to extend your little finger like that. <sighs> oh, marvellous. It's really marvellous. You see, you see a posh person with like, <sighs> They'll have the little finger extended like this. Oh, this is a smashing cup of tea. But to anybody around from around here, it's a cup of tea. Now, the best way you can make a cup of tea, or at least the way my granddad used to make it, you stick about six tea bags in the tea pot, and then you stir that up for about ten minutes, so it's so thick the spoon will stand up in it. Right, then you pour that into a cup, right, yeah, well, kind of like a cup like that. And then you get yourself a, a can, a can of condensed milk, the thickest milk on the planet, right? And you pour some of that in. And then you spoons in half a dozen sugars and stirs that up and you drink about 36 cups of that a day. Well, at least they used to. I don't know anybody who does that now. I mean, more. Now it's like you, you chucks one tea bag in the cup, stirs it a bit, pours in a bit of that, that thin milk. And a couple of sweeteners or something like that. So that's how the drinks taste now. Any of those, right? So what else you got for us? Oh, that's it. An apple. You like your apples, don't you? Now, to a posh person, this this is an apple, right? An apple. But if you're from round here, it's an apple, and it. You're gonna go off with that, am you? Right, now, I hope that's uh, been of help to you. Uh, we'll do some more in the future, but we don't really have that much time today because I've got so many things I want to get through. So, yeah. Well, I've uh, been your way in. I'm all right, cock. I'm loving the sun. I've been in a dozen flowers today and got covered in pollen. Well, honey for tea, then. Oh, it is, cock. I love a bit of honey. See ya. Well, looks like Wayne's been enjoying himself today. Right, oh, you're back. You just miss Wayne. You, you, you two are still friends, isn't you? you are, oh, that's good. Right. Now then, right. Now, I've got a couple of other things I wrote down here now. Now, now, now here's one for you. Do you say dinner or do you say lunch? So your posh person would say... Oh, I'm going to lunch, you see, I'm lunch, but round here, so I'm going to have me dinner, <laughs> and uh, a posh person might say, oh, well, I wouldn't have that, it's not very good, it's not very good at all, now, but from somebody round here, say, like, that's crap, <laughs> or a posh person would say, oh, I'd like a bag of sweets, please, and round here, say, so, Give a bag of suckle, yeah. 
Now here's one for you. If you have uh, if you have never been, right, there's a sock shop, a Teddy Gray sock shop. And that's Black Country Suites in a shop in in a shop in Budley, right? Now the wenches in there. They they ain't that black country, you know. They should be, but they ain't. Because I went in there and I says, give a bag of sock and they don't know what I was on about. So if you ever go in there, you can have a laugh with them. A couple of Boston wenches there was. Any around right there were right where was we? Yeah, I'd like to say uh, a big thank you because uh, we we we've, uh, we have got a lot of fans abroad anyway. We got Val, Mary, Brent from America. We got Eddie, good old Eddie, loves you, doesn't he, mate? Me uh, me mother's old mate Anne. I've been your Anne. How's it going? There's a proper black country wench. Her is her come from tip to. You can't get much ro you can't get much more black country than that, can you? Right, any road. Now, in the last one, I did some si silly poems. Now, I think that was funny. Now, i got some more here for you. So, I hope you yeah, am going to enjoy these. Now, I've had to write them down. Because, no matter what, I can't remember that many. I can't remember that many on them. Now, right, any road. Old Mother Robert went to the cupboard to fetch the dog about. When she bent over, Rover took over and gave her a bone of his own. You liked that one, did you? <laughs> right, Mary had a little skirt with splits right up the sides. And every time that Mary walked, the boys could see her thighs. Mary had another skirt with a split right up the front. But I don't wear that one very often. <laughs> Mary had a little pig. She kept it fat and plastered. But when the price of pork went up, she shot the little. Yeah, 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 we all can say that one. We have to, yep. you have to bleep that one out, will we? Yeah, no, we'll guess what that was anyway. Right. Mary had a little watch. She swallowed it one day. And so she took some Epsom salts to pass the time away. But though she tried and tried and tried, she couldn't make time pass. So if you wants to know the time, just look up Mary's. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, uh, it was only a short video, or it's because, um, you know, I've been busy today. I've been busy. I've been working out again. Look at, look at, look at this. What, what, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think of that? Flat? What do you mean flat? I've been working hard on that. You know, well, oh, I have. Look at, look at this. I've got a big chest now. Well, I'm going to show you. You know, it might be embarrassing. Just look at me pictures on Facebook. Yeah, see how well I'm doing with the fitness thing. You know, you know, I'm walking five miles a day. I tech sweep, but he can't walk that far, can you? No. You've never walked a mile. You don't believe that. Right, any road. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the show. Oh, by the way, I don't get many remarks from the last one about, uh, about Derek, right? So, uh, I ain't added him in this video, because nobody really said a lot about him. But, uh, if you like the Welsh duck, I mean, you know, just, just, just drop it in the comments, I, I like Derek, and maybe we'll add him into some more. But, uh, yeah, I know you all like sweet, and you all like waiting, so, uh, any road, if you like these videos, you know, just feel free to share them. Like and share. So, any road. See you all.